Vi måste flytta här på den här sidan kanske. Det var att det lite mer än det. Det är den här högen som ska bort någon annanstans.
the garden is thriving, at least the weeds are. The things that are supposed to be growing, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I got a bunch of uh, strawberry plants from my mother, so we have planted those. I don't know if we're gonna get any strawberries this year, but at least we have them until next year now. I have also planted my calendula flowers, so I have to make uh, my creams and salves. And also linen, say man so, linblommer. Linen seeds or flax seeds, I don't know what's the correct term, they have so beautiful flowers. And some salads and uh, cilantro, carrots, but they haven't showed at all, so I don't know if I'm gonna get any. In the greenhouse I have some tomatoes, cucumber, squash and chili. I also got a plant of bell pepper and tomatoes from my mother-in-law, so hopefully I get something out of those because my plants are really scrawny and so this year's garden and planting isn't a success so far but it is what it is and we'll see if we get any. The only thing that seems to grow here are nettles and grass so to be honest the garden is just because we enjoy it and I think it's real fun to grow the plants but it isn't possible to live from the garden because the climate here doesn't allow it, at least not in a sustainable way. We feed the rabbits the grass from here, so we take down a little bit in, at a time, so that's why it looks like this. It's lush. This is where I grow my teeny carrots and parsnips, <laughs> but I think it's mostly grass here right now that comes up from underneath, and also the lovely row of nettles. Because of Ivar, I haven't had the time to uh, tend to the garden as much as I would like. When I made these boxes, I put cardboard boxes in the bottom and then earth on top of it. But it seems like the grass has overcome the, the cardboard in the ground. So we will need to do something about this very soon. <laughs> The problem is that we doesn't only have the garden to tend to, we also have all the other projects and chores. So the garden is because we enjoy it and if we don't have time with it, it has to be so.
We had a great summer solstice with our wonderful family from Tuva's side plus my brother. Tuva's brother have been building and tinkering with a home-built drone. It's a special kind that is harder to fly with than regular ones. I am in the process of building one as well and hope that the shots will add to our videos. Here is some shots from the village that we have talked about so much. It is soon 11 o'clock at night and the sun hasn't gone down yet. It is nearing the end of June and I'm standing here being eaten up by mosquitoes. But it's so beautiful out here that I want to come here and film a little bit for you. Even though I'm going to be eaten alive. We have been very busy these past couple of weeks been working from morning to evening the usual necessary stuff the firewood for next winter has to be done my brother is here on a visit and he has been here for a couple of weeks and he's going to be here for some weeks more all the usual work opportunities that he have had before had been cancelled due to the virus situation so economically I guess it's not so good for him but 
very good for us with all the help we have gotten from him. Um, so when he came here we started immediately building on a new bridge, stone bridge for where we get water because it's always collapses during the winter. So now we made it a lot stronger with bigger stones. So hopefully this time we will not have to remake it next summer. <laughs> and uh, we also built a small bridge over the stream so I don't have to go back and forth with the dogs. I can go around in a circle on the morning and evening walks instead. <laughs> and we have been preparing to start uh, the work with the cellar, the earth cellar, but we have not gotten that far yet because we started also with the firewood that is very essential to have. Uh, the firewood needs to be made every summer or eventually we will, will want to make it in the spring but the firewood is very important that it is made and it is dry for next winter otherwise we wouldn't be able to live here. We have also spent time building a loft in the cow house for all the stuff that we don't use regularly. So we get more space, more storage room. And Tuva is also an eager buyer of old stuff. I guess I'm interested as well, but Tuva is the one that finds all this old stuff that we hopefully will have use for old tools and old furniture and and this and that. She finds really cool, cheap and old stuff on auctions and uh, flea markets and stuff like that. Wow, they are really eating me up here now. Ska jag slänga de här eller ska jag, ska jag försöka tejpa? Tejpa dem. Well, look at this. I wish my workspace was always this clean. Me and my brother has built a loft in our cow house. So now we have been able to take all the stuff 
that has been laying around on the floor here and put it up on the loft. So this feels really nice to be able to use this space better. We have a lot of stuff that we use only in winter or only in summer. And also over the years we have been gathering stuff for future projects. And I also have a stack of dry woodworking material. There is mostly birch there, but I got a cherry tree from my parents as well. And we are almost finished with this year's firewood as well. The plan is to build a firewood shed exclusively for firewood, so we don't need to have it here. But we'll see if that will be done this summer or not. Now I just need to put all of these tools and stuff back in the right place and find places for everything. Got a lot of stuff here, but mostly tools. That needs to find its right place. And hopefully we will be able to use this better since every time I have needed to use this, I first needed to clean it out or clean it up. But I have no, I have had no place to put everything. This old staircase came in handy. It is from a house where Tuva's parents are living, and uh, and me and my father-in-law has been building a better staircase there to replace this one. So this found a new home here now. Here is a lot of screws and nails and half finished projects that I need to sort out as well. It feels really good to get this done now, even though there is a lot of other things that also needs to be done. You need to continue building on the cellar and continue building on the house. And, but the firewood needs to be done every year. And we also need this space for all the building projects. So this also needed to be done. We get comments every now and then that we should focus on the house and uh, get, this, get it ready before uh, Ivar gets uh, bigger or I don't know. We, got the, we get those kind of comments every now and then. And, um, of course, it feels like that for us as well, but, but we get up early in the morning every day and first do the morning chores with all the animals and then continue with some projects and also filming and editing for these videos. Everything takes a little bit longer to do when we are filming it. But what I wanted to say is that we work from morning to night every day most often with whatever is most urgent and it feels frustrating sometimes to not be able to do what you really are eager to do like building the cellar and stuff like that but it is how it is and we live nice we don't particularly have any hurry with anything there is always those things like the firewood needs to be done and the grass for the winter feed needs to be done. That's those two more stressful moments, or how to say, things that take away time from all the other projects. Yeah, well, as I said, this feels really nice. But this has been cleaned out. Still need to spend some time sorting out all the tools and projects. We have had a wonderful summer so far, these two last weeks. Yeah, really warm. We have had to bathe in the stream several times a day. Mm. So at least like 30 degrees 
Celsius every day. So not in the stream. Yeah, not in the stream. Mm. But, but very warm in the water. So. Yeah. Mm. So we have enjoyed it very, very much. Maybe a bit too warm when we're working, but still it's nice. Yeah, but we have done a couple of days of work in the cow house now. So yeah. that has been nice to be out of the sun. Mm. Yeah. Ivar is sleeping in his pram. He has had a couple of days, a week almost. He doesn't sleep at, sleep at all, almost, daytime. And nighttime I am up maybe five times a night, breastfeeding. So I'm a bit tired. I think some, <clears throat> some development spurt, I guess. Yeah. They talk about the four month monster. He isn't four months yet, but maybe he's getting there. Thankfully, Matthias' brother Kevin is here and mm. helping out. Yeah, that has been really nice. We have gotten a lot of things done. Extra pair of hands. Yeah. Mm. So we're very grateful that he's here and helping us out for a couple of weeks. Mm. Much needed. <laughs> but we haven't started with any of the bigger projects yet. But prepared for the cellar mm -hmm. at least. So it's just yeah, to so start. Now, yeah. So the firewood is almost done, but now comes the gathering of hay soon. So. Yeah, but when? Hopefully there will be some weeks in July with fine. really fine weather. Mm. It seems like it's going to rain a lot now the coming week. So hopefully after that we have some weeks with yeah, good weather, so we have the hay in. It is always a worrisome project mm. if we're going to get the hay inside dry in a, in a good way <laughs> yeah. yeah so it doesn't start to burn or yeah. mold mm. Mama, come yeah. the other day we went to the village to the store and on the parking lot we got recognized by a woman she had seen our videos and yeah just wanted to say that she appreciated them and I'm sorry if we seemed a bit awkward <laughs> because we are not used to getting recognized I guess so it was a lot of fun that you approached approached us but uh, yeah sorry if we seem weird <laughs> so I guess this is it for this episode thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one Vibada. Ska du följa bara dem alla va? Jag redan badar du.